The Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. Today we're going to be creating two Wanda Maximoff cakes. One that took 10 minutes and another one that took me 10 hours. I'm excited to show you my results, you guys. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Mary Kay Dolson. Let's get into this video. So thank you so much for all the love on my vision cake. It was the best and the worst thing. It came out so great. And there was so much pressure on me to make the Wanda cake look just as good. So every time somebody was like, can't wait for your Wanda cake. I was like, oh, I hope it's good. <laughs> but I did it and I'm proud of both of them. So let's start with the first one. So the 10 minute Wanda cake. I'm using store-bought cake. I got everything I need, hopefully. I think I do. Ready, set, go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, toss it, put it on the side. We're gonna roll out all of the fondant. So black fondant for the eyes, and white fondant for the catch light. Now I need to make the headdress. It just needs to be big enough for my template. So, is it big enough? No, it's not. Okay, it's big enough? Yeah, that's big enough, okay. Don't give up. You got this. Uh, forearms. You got this, forearms. So I got the fondant. I'm going to just add it to the cake like this. Are there bumps? You bet there are. But guess what? We don't got time to deal with that. We got to make sure we cover this cake. Oh, this is one nice looking line, you guys. No, it's not. Oh my god, there's Oreos everywhere. Okay. Okay, clean a little bit, that's it. The entire hair, like that. Okay. Good, is that good? Oh man, I don't even think I have enough time to roll this out, so we're just going to use this for the side. Do that for this side. There we go, okay, so we got the hair. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. My hand is shaking so much. I'm going to use some popsicle sticks to hold this up because it's so flimsy. It's so flimsy, you guys. Okay, got her mouth. Got two eyes going on down here like that. You want to catch lights? Come out. Catch lights. Okay, it'll catch lights right there. <laughs> Oh, you know what she needs? She needs tiny eyelashes. Two eyelashes. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, does that look good? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is what I made with 10 minutes. What do you think? It's, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> For a 10 minute cake, this is pretty good, but I can see the flaws. But she looks very happy and I got the eyelashes on, so that's a plus. So we saw the 10 minute cake. Let's see what I can do in 10 hours. Now with my 10 hour cake, I'm starting with a cake that came out of my skull cake pan. Do you know it? Always, you guys, always, every video. We got icing in the middle. We got my cake ball dough ready to go. We got my gumballs ready to go. Most important part, my favorite part. Now I'm adding cake ball dough to create the soft tissue and I, man, adding these gumballs are my favorite part of the video. It makes it look so scary. Imagine somebody gave you this cake as a birthday cake. <laughs> Oh, I'd be terrified, <laughs> but I laughed pretty hard too. Now we got fondant on to create her chin and her nose. And then I added some Scarlet Witch skin tone fondant. I feel like this is the most mummy like cake that I've created because I didn't completely smoothen it out right away. And it just looks so mummified, doesn't it? The shape of her nose really lends itself to like a mummy shape. <laughs> I'm cutting out the rest of the fondant. And then we're gonna work on her eyes. Oh gosh. When I was creating the cake, I was actually looking at pictures of Elizabeth Olsen, not as Wanda Maximoff, because I wanted to get a sense of like the shape of her face, the dimensions of her forehead, all of that good stuff. And that helped a lot, but it also led to some mistakes. And you can totally tell when I add her hair, because instead of giving her like the wavy red hair that Wanda Maximoff has, I gave her like super straight, 
dirty blonde Elizabeth Olsen hair. And I ended up having to just color correct it and make it more wavy later on. Same thing with her eyebrows. I made them like too dark. Um, but I tried to line them up with luster dust when I finished the cake. When I started to add eyeshadow to this cake, that's when I realized that this doesn't completely look like Elizabeth Olsen. I tried my hardest. There's something about the eye shape that I didn't get right and I didn't know how to fix it. And I thought that maybe if I just came back to it later on the cake, then I'd get it right. But I, I don't think I did. <laughs> this kind of looks like it could be a Black Widow cake, huh? But it won't when I start to add the waves. Something's like off. Maybe it's the color or there's just not enough depth to them. But it doesn't look completely like it. Oh, but then when you add the headdress, it's like game changer the headdress, right? Wow, that headdress is everything, huh? This might not be an Elizabeth Olsen cake, but this is definitely a Scarlet Witch cake just because of this headdress. After I painted her headdress, my 10 hour Wanda Maximoff cake was complete. What do you think? I'm kind of really digging this cake. I hate that it doesn't look like Elizabeth Olsen. I spent a lot of time measuring the distance from like her mouth to her nose and then the space between her eyes and I couldn't figure out why they were like just a little too small or a little too far apart. So for an Elizabeth Olsen cake, it's kind of off, but for a Wanda, for a Scarlet Witch cake, I think it's pretty on point. Now after I finished both my cakes, I decided to alter them just a little bit. For my 10 minute cake, I took an extra 20 minutes, cut out the same shapes. That way, if you are throwing a party and you want a simple Wanda cake, you can totally use the second version of this cake and get way better results. Now for the 10 hour cake, I decided to alter Wanda's eyes. She's a villain, all right? By the end of this, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a villain. Her husband's supposed to be resting in pieces somewhere in a lab, but she brought him back to life like Dr. Frankenstein. So I added a little more eyeshadow, gave her a darker lip, and gave her some really creepy red eyes. I totally like this better, man. The red eyes distract from the fact that this doesn't really look like Elizabeth Olsen, <laughs> but it also makes her look so much more powerful. Remember, she almost killed Thanos. Now my vision cake actually looked kind of like Paul Bettany and even though this cake doesn't really look like Elizabeth Olsen, I've learned so much from attempting to do realistic cakes that I kind of have a grasp on it. So I want to do more celebrity cakes like this. I asked you guys on Instagram a while back if you wanted me to make Luke or Leia. So those are the two I'm going to be doing next as well as Darth Maul. The Mandalorian ended but I'm still like on a Star Wars kick. But after that it's Falcon the Winter Soldier. I'm going to try to do all of Justice League. Um, that's not going to happen. But I'm going to try. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're having an okay time in quarantine. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.